Hey everyone, this is George, and I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'll tell you why you should read The Stuff of Legend. Something I love about the world of comics is that there are so many hidden treasures in the medium. One such treasure is The Stuff of Legend from Third World Studios. This vast world was crafted by writers Mike Raitt and Brian Smith and brought to life in fantastic detail with illustrations by Charles Paul Wilson III. The story is set in 1944, nearing the end of the Second World War, when a boy is taken into a world of darkness by a malevolent being it falls to the boy's beloved toys and his dog to attempt a desperate rescue. When in our world, the toys are just that, worn and well played with toys that are of the era that the story is set in. But once they cross over into the world of the dark, they are transformed. The Colonel becomes a valiant soldier with instincts for the war to come. Maxwell the teddy bear becomes an enormous rage-filled beast. The Jester transforms into the incessantly charming as he is deadly hatchet-wielding warrior, and the others each have their own unique transformations, and Scout the tiny young Basset Hound remains the brave companion to all, each with the singular goal of saving the boy. At first glance, you might assume this is nothing more than a Toy Story knockoff and not worth your time, but you'd be very wrong. The stuff of legend shines in its nuance. It's a much darker world where the characters make mistakes and at times walk a razor thin wire between hero and villain. It's equally charming as it is tragic. While the stakes are very clear, they are not one sided and you can at times empathize with the thinking of the toys who have fallen and who inhabit the world of the dark while at the same time question the purpose and futility of the heroes' quest, especially when the fate of all of the toys becomes all the more apparent as the story progresses. Things are never as simple as they seem in this world, and the characters reflect this. The dialogue, and especially the relationships between characters, feels very real. At times there is both a true sense of camaraderie, as well as distrust and anger among the would-be rescuers. The antagonists also reflect this characteristic too, and reflect on their choices, and even regret them, which is not something you regularly read in most literature, and makes the read something very unique, something very human. And when the bad things happen, even to the antagonists, you feel it. The beauty of this book is not just in the richness of character, but in the magnificent illustrations. Every gorgeous page seems to convey care and time spent lovingly bringing these characters to life. Most pages have five panels or less, allowing for the illustrator to make the most with every page. The character designs are of note as well, as the illustrator nails every character. The Jester has the most interesting transformation from his real world self and perfectly encapsulates the writer's characterization. The coloring is uniquely special as well, and adds to the timeless sensation of this fantasy world. Instead of brightly colored pages, this story chooses very muted colors, washing the world and its illustrations with a wealth of black, brown, and gray colors. While this may seem an odd or even detrimental choice for a fantasy world, in this world it's a perfect fit, and somehow makes the story feel reflective of the late 1940s. I honestly can't recommend this story enough. I remember seeing the cover for this comic a long time ago and knowing that I had to read it and when I finally did read it, it exceeded my expectations. This story has also been optioned for a film by Disney and while it has been in development for some time, I'm truly hoping that if it doesn't get a wide film release, well hopefully it may find a place on the upcoming Disney streaming service. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I truly hope you check out The Stuff of Legend. You can purchase copies of the books from the publisher's website, and I'll leave a link in the video info section. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and share the video. If you want to see more comics content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You casting on